And uh, we're moving on to another update. Health authorities are once again urging public compliance to COVID-19 protocols amid rising cases. There were over 1,100 new cases and three deaths as of June the 16th. Health authorities are once again urging public compliance to COVID-19 protocols amid rising cases. As June the 16th, there were over 1,100 new cases, 3 deaths, and 509 recoveries. The Indonesian Health Ministry has also warned of two new subvariant of Omicron, namely BA4 and 5, and urged the public to get booster shots. The subvariants were first detected on four people on June the 6th. As of June the 12th, infections have spread to 20 people. Kita harus terus berhati-hati dan mempersiapkan diri sebagai antisipasi terhadap kemungkinan makin naiknya jumlah kasus di Indonesia. Karena berkaitan dengan telah terkonfirmasinya virus SARS-CoV-2 varian Omicron subvarian BA.4 dan BA.5 di Indonesia. The government said the transmission not only comes from abroad but also locally. It also continues to conduct whole genome sequencing tests to detect the new subvariants. While subvariants BA4 and 5 are responsible for spikes in other countries, infections so far result in much fewer hospitalizations and deaths compared to Omicron cases. Anita Putri, Lutfi Evan, 4C Today. Still from Indonesia, commuter rail operator KAI Commuter Line has started trial operations at the Matraman station earlier today. The company estimates the station could serve over 2,000 daily passengers. Commuters have started embarking and disembarking at the station today and mention its convenience. The station is located between the Jatinegara and Manggarai stations and is part of the Manggarai Cikarang double, double track network. KAI Commuter Line also plans to integrate other public transportation services such as the Transjakarta buses to the station. Ya, uh, sebagai info, stasiun ini ada nama khususnya ya, menjadi stasiun shelter uh, Matraman. Kalau kita lihat, ini stasiun tidak sebesar stasiun-stasiun yang lain. Karena sebenarnya ini adalah alternatif satu stasiun antara Jatinegara uh, dengan Manggarai. Sehingga uh, ini bagian dari alternatif untuk uh, naik turun penumpang. Di mana Matraman ini kan juga menjangkau beberapa lokasi yang uh, memang menjadi area kerja. ya uh, Kampung Melayu sekitarnya, Senen, Cepaka Putih dan yang lainnya. Sehingga bisa menjadi alternatif yang akan memang uh, terintegrasi dengan uh, moda yang lain gitu. Jadi kalau pagi ini, ini kan hari pertama uh, yang terus kami sosialisasikan baik di announcement di stasiun ataupun di atas KRL. Uh, pagi ini lebih dari 100 untuk naik turun ya uh, penumpang di sini. Jadi kami memprediksi uh, ketika sosialisasinya terus kami masifkan, uh, prediksi kami sehari stasiun ini bisa melayani uh, di atas 2000 harapannya ya uh, dengan adanya stasiun shelter uh, Matraman ini bisa sebagai alternatif gitu uh, yang awalnya turun di Jatinegara ataupun Manggarai ini bisa menjadi uh, salah satu alternatif naik turun Just to get you into context why commuter line is very important for Jakartans and then people uh, on the outskirts area because of the traffic uh, which is like so bad, quite bad in Jakarta mm -hmm. and lots of people from the skirt area they're relying on the commuter line. Not only that, but nowadays people prefer to use uh, MRT or yep. uh, Trans Jakarta buses in this case. Not only because of the traffic, but also in accordance to reduce the air pollution. Mm -hmm.